we're going to take a look at the 12 and a quarter inch self-adjusting electric brake assembly with the dust shield for a 10,000 pound axle. And this is the right hand passenger side assembly. Now electric brakes are easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Electric brakes will require only an electric brake controller, which we do sell separately. There are no actuator or hydraulic lines necessary. The size on this is a 12 and a quarter inch by 3 and 3 eighths inch right hand passenger side brake assembly. And when they give you that size, what they're telling you is the measurement from the diameter from shoe to shoe is 12 and a quarter inches. And then the 3 and 3 eighths would be as if we rotate this assembly and then you measure the width of the lining. It's three and three eighths, so 12 and a quarter by three and three eighths. And this is a right hand passenger side of brake assembly. And the way you can tell what side it goes on is on a new assembly, of course, they'll have a sticker that'll show you either right hand or left hand. But if by chance the assembly didn't have a sticker, the easiest way to tell is look at the size of the shoes. If you look at this shoe, it's gonna be smaller than this shoe right here. So the smaller shoe is the primary shoe and that will always face the front of the trailer. So if you turn this to where this is going to face the front of the trailer, that'll tell you that this is a right-hand passenger side assembly. So that's the easiest way to tell you what side the brake assembly goes on. Now these brake shoes are lined with an automotive grade friction material. This friction material is fully bonded to the shoe. It's not riveted, so it gives you a lot longer life, more braking torque. They also, on the ends, they taper the lining, and then they do a circular grinding of the lining to prevent cracking and crumbling that can lead to mechanical lockup. This is a self-adjusting brake. If you notice the cable around the pulley goes to a lever that controls the star wheel down there. This self-adjusting brake does not require periodic manual adjustment like standard brakes. Nice thing on this is the gear they use is a fine tooth brake adjustment gear. And because it's a fine tooth gear, it allows for a more precise setting. And there is no brake in period needed following your initial adjustment. It does have the cast backing plate and then the metal brake shield you can see right here. That is all included. Also on the back of the brake shield, you notice at the bottom it does come with adjuster plugs. If you ever do have to access your adjustment wheel, you can pop these plugs off and get to them. But the plugs are included. Plugs are nice because it'll keep any dirt from getting into your brake assembly. <clears throat> now the mounting bolts, the nuts, and the lock washers that are used to install this to your brake flange, they are not included. We do sell those separately on our website and they are listed as a related product on our website. If you notice, this uh, is designed to take or mount to a seven bolt brake mounting flange. Now this brake assembly is certified by US SAE standards and CSA, which is the Canadian standards. Again, the size is 12 and a quarter by three and three eighths. It's designed to fit an axle of 10,000 pound rating. Again, they are self-adjusting brakes. They fit, or fit on the seven bolt brake mounting flange and they do require the use of 12 and a quarter inch brake drums. Now these are electric brakes, so you do have to supply power to the magnet for it to operate. If you see the wires that come out the back, there's two yellow wires. The, one of them goes to the brake feed to supply power to the magnet, and one goes to a ground. So either wire can be used for either function, doesn't matter which one's which. But that should do it for the review on the 12 and a quarter inch self-adjusting electric brake assembly with the dust shield for a 10,000 pound axle, and this is the right hand passenger side assembly.